in Durham, the black capitalists combined their efforts with the white capitalists and created a lot of institutions that were designed for black people. You had two societies, really. You know, you had the society that, if you were black, that blacks lived in, and then you had the broader society that whites controlled. What segregation did was really create this kind of enclave economy and enclave society. You didn't really venture that much out of it. And when you did, that's when you really saw, you know, the kind of the constraints and restrictions that you were under. If we want to address issues like, you know, high unemployment within our community, one of the best ways to address it is through developing black businesses. You know, it, it used to be easier for me to get up at 7 o'clock a.m. to go work for somebody else than to get up at 7 o'clock a.m. and work for me. But that's not going to be my philosophy anymore. So I say to, you know, people who are wondering what the relevance of an African-American company in the new millennium, Every economic indicator says that we're, you know, there's a gap between African Americans and other people. So there's a lot of work we need to do. Were we better off with the enclave economy, our minority business better off now when that enclave economy is gone and they're kind of out there in society in general? And it's clear that minority businesses are better off, you know, outside of this enclave economy.